The Amazon rainforest used to be called the Earth's lungs for the way it absorbed carbon and emitted oxygen. But over the past dozen years, that process has begun to slow, and in some places, it's even started to reverse. Ranchers have cut down millions of trees to raise cattle there for the beef and leather that's consumed across the globe. The world's biggest beef producer, JBS of Brazil, has vowed for years not to take cattle from illegally cleared land. But over many months, Bloomberg analyzed more than one million delivery logs and found a JBS supply chain that's deeply embedded in deforestation hotspots. JBS says it follows Brazilian law to a T and has no way of knowing if any of the cattle it's buying originated on deforested land. But what Bloomberg discovered during a trip into the heart of cattle country was that JBS doesn't go beyond what's required of it to try to find out. Like money, cattle can be laundered. Illegally deforested ranches breed calves and then sell them to middlemen who then sell them on to the direct suppliers that supply the slaughterhouses. It's a well-known maneuver in the Amazon region and one that people don't even bother trying to hide because it's grounded in a legal system so full of loopholes that prosecutors, environmentalists, and even the ranchers themselves consider it a farce. JBS says it has a new approach to finally map its full supply chain, from the ranches where cattle are born to the slaughterhouses where they die. But it's been promising that for more than a decade, and unless there's a significant change to Brazilian law and enforcement, it's unlikely to have the effect that the world really needs, which is to eliminate deforestation from the supply chain of a company that slaughters a third of all cattle coming out of the Amazon biome. As one researcher told me, JBS is focused on zero illegality, not zero zero deforestation, and there's a big difference. Bloomberg's story was produced in partnership with the Pulitzer Center's Rainforest Investigations Network.